हरि ओम सर्व कुशल किं संस्कृत अध्ययन अथवा संस्कृताध्ययन सम्यक् चलति किं गत वर्गे नूतन शब्दानां परिचयः अभवत् तस्य अभ्यासः अभवत् किं तत् अवश्यं करोतु सो हैप्पी टू बी बैक विथ यू आई होप एवरीथिंग इज गोइंग ऑन वेल एंड आई होप दैट योर स्टडी ऑफ द संस्कृत लैंग्वेज इज प्रोग्रेसिंग वेल दैट यू आर प्रैक्टिसिंग विद द न्यू वोकैबुलरी दैट वाज गिवन टू यू इन द प्रीवियस वीक in this week we are going to look at the following lecture so it is the revision and practice of vibhakti uh, or the declension forms for the feminine words and the concepts that will be covered here are that we will do a revision of the stri linga uh, or the feminine words that are ending with the akara and the ikara and in the ekavachanam or in the singular so we had looked at the masculine words in the singular ending with the akara words and now we will look at the feminine with the a and the e which is something that we have already looked at but we will revise them a little further then we will do a, a revision of the simple dhatu roopa or verb conjugations in different tenses and finally i will try and add to your vocabulary of words ending with the a and e so moving on Let's do a conversation with Piyush and then we will analyze it. Hari Om Piyushah, Kutra Gachati. Namaste Arjee, Aham Atiti Shalam Gachami. Bhavan, Kaam Atiti Shalam Gachati. Aham Taam Atiti Shalam Gachami. Tatra Ka Asti. Tatra Amba Asti, Sahodari Api Asti. Te Mama Krite Apeksham Kurutaha, Yata Adya Asti. कोलकाता गच्छा भवान् कया कया सह कोलकाता गमिष्यति अहम् अम्बया सह दरिया च सह कोलकाता गमिष्या भवन्तः कथम् गमिष्यन्ति वयम् रेल यानेन गत्वा महानद्या नौका नौकया गमिष्या कोलकाता याह अन्यत्र गच्छन्ति किम् न तत्र एव भवामः तत्र किमर्थं गच्छति अहम् अम्बायै सहदर्यै किमपि दातुम् इच्छामि ततः तत् क्रेतुं गच्छामि कस्याः अपि जन्मदिनम् अस्ति किम् अहम् श्वः अम्बायः परश्वः सहदर्याः जन्मदिनम् अस्ति एवं वा सहोदर्याः जन्मदिनम् अपि अस्ति आम् सहोदर्याः जन्मदिनम् अस्ति कोलकातायाम् अन्यत् किम् करिष्यन्ति गंगा नद्याम् किञ्चित् भ्रमित्वा दक्षिणेश्वरम् गत्वा काली देव्याः मन्दिरे पूजां कृत्वा प्रत्यागमिष्यामः उत्तमः उपायः शुभयात्रा अस्तु अस्तु धन्यवादः सो I hope you were able to follow that dialogue between us. We tried to stick to the different declensions and vibhakti forms of the words ending with A like Amba and Sahodari with the E ending. So let's look at the conversation once again and as you are going through it, I'd like you to follow along, try to understand by yourself, see if you can recollect the different vibhaktis that are being used and also to pay attention to the written form of these words. So, the first is Harihi Om Piyusha. So, because it's a masculine, it's the vocative. You see, it's not Piyushaha, but Piyusha. Kutra Gachati. So, the moment the question is Kutra Gachati, you know that the destination is indicated, which implies that it will be in the second case. So, therefore, Namaste Arye. So, the Arye here is to indicate the Sambodhanam or the vocative. So, it is the eighth for the words ending in A because it is Arya and when he is calling out, he will say Arye. So, the A turns into the A. So, Durga, He Durge, Uttamam. Sita, He Sita, Radha, He Radhe, Uttamam. Let us move on. So, Idanim Atithi Shalam. Atithi is the guest and why Atithi? Tithi is a date and 
a tithi is someone who doesn't have a fixed date of arrival so a guest was someone and atithi was someone who could turn up at your doorstep anytime all right and that's why atithi shala like alaya means a place so atithi shalam so that is the second uttamam gachami next bhavan kam feminine kam atithi shalam gachati Uttaram aham tam. So we are using the pronoun sah or sa in the feminine. So the second case is tam. Atithi shalam gachami. Tatra ka asti ka is the first one. Tatra ka asti who is there? Tatra mama amba. So we see it's in the first case. Asti sahodari. Ch asti. So, in our previous uh, lessons in, our, in the previous course, we had looked at this the usage of the ch. And one of the things we had said is that if you have many words together, then you can still say a ch asti. But then uh, that was because we were in a beginner's stage. But now that we are in the next level, what we have to know is that when you have a single, uh, if you have many things, then the verb will become in the plural. So, amba, uh, sahodaraha, sahodari, cha, santi. Or you will have to say, amba asti, sahodari, cha, asti. If I didn't put the asti in the middle, then it would become, amba, sahodari, cha, dual case, taha. Okay, so it had, if it was that, it would have become, amba, sahodari, cha, Taha. But we look at that when we look at the dual cases a little more. And then, uh, te mamma krite, again this is like the equivalent of the fourth using the ma. Apeksha, so apeksha is the word to wait. Apeksham is the second. So what are they doing? The answer to what is in the object case and therefore in the second one or the uh, accusative. So apeksham kurutaha. So, I was just telling you about the dual. So, the te here is the dual feminine and therefore, it connects with the verb kurutaha. Yataha because adya kolkata is the city. So, kolkata asti, kolkatam gacha maha. So, it is the second one. Okay. And then Bhavan Kaya Kaya with whom with whom? So that would be the third one. Saha. The moment the Saha is there, you know it becomes the third case. Kolkatam Gamishati. So although we've said with whom with whom, because the subject is Bhavan, the verb will be Bhavish uh, Gamishati or the third person singular. All right. Now moving on, aham ambaya, so amba is the word and the other one will become ambaya, sahodarya, cha saha kolkatam, gamishyami, so ishyami is again in the future there. Then bhavantaha katham gamishyanti. So, that is in the plural there. Huh? So, that is Bhavantaha is actually the respect form of the you and therefore, it is the second person respect, respect but then it becomes like third person. Okay. And then Vayam Relayanena. So, this is a masculine third person, I mean the third vibhakti, gatva, after going, tataha, mahanadyam, which is the seventh one, gangayam, naukaya, instrument, gamishyamaha. Okay, so vayam, because it is vayam, you will have to say, sorry, you will have to say,
गमिष्यामः ऑल राइट इज दैट क्लियर नाउ ओके uh i just mentioned that it's rela yanena is the masculine but in fact it is the it's the neuter that's the challenge the masculine and the neuter words are very are, are the same basically in their declensions and sometimes there can be a confusion so you have to uh, know which one is which all right so rela yanena gatva tatah mahanadyam gangayam naukaya gamishyamah next one kolkata yaha from kolkata therefore it will be the fifth one ablative anyatra gachanti kim so are you going somewhere else na tatra eva bhavamah so what is the subject if it is gachanti who is the subject you got it bhavantah so although the subject is not mentioned you have to hold it in your mind okay na tatra eva bhavamah subject vayam in other languages it is not so easy to drop the subject but in sanskrit we can often do it because the verb already indicates which subject uh, which is the corresponding subject so i'll just write that also for you bhavantah and vayam all right tatra kimartham so the moment you get a kimartham you know that it is the dative answer uttamam so kimartham gachanti aham amba so amba yai sahodari sahodaryai ch kimapi datum so datum ichami datum the dative ha huh? you can hear it in the word also datum dative always takes the fourth with it okay so datum is to give and then ataha tat kretum once again we see the kretum uh, which is to buy gachami and why me because the subject is aham all right moving on uh, kasyaha api janmadinam asti kem wait i will also make that clearer for you a little bit yeah yeah now kasya api janmadinam asti kem kasya api sixth genitive kasya api janmadinam birthday asti kem and then the answer to that is am shwaha ambaya so amba ambaya ha which will be the uh, sixth one genitive and the sahodaryaha sahodari sahodaryaha janmadinam asti kolkata yam saptami anyat kim karishyanti who is the subject bhavantah uttamam how do you know that because of the nti kim karishyanti and giving that to you bhavantah kim karishanti ganga nadyam so that's again the seventh itopi kinchit bhramitva after after bhramanam is to roam around okay to wander around naukaya third see nauka naukaya so we have Uh, amba amba ya ha so the little dot at the end and the elongation of the a makes all the difference in the meaning amba ya ha means of my mother or it can even mean from my mother but uh, now ka ya means with the boat okay eva dakshineshwaram gatva after uh, kali devya ha the sixth pujam second kritwa again after doing pratyagamishyamah ha huh? so we will come back the mah indicates that it is the subject is vayam ah i'll just write that again for you vayam okay
Okay, let's move on. The answer is Uttamaha Upayaha. Uttamaha, it's an adjective to Upayaha and both are in the case. What's the verb there? Means Uttamaha means excellent Upayaha idea and what's the verb there? Asti. Wait, I'll do that for you again. The verb that is there is asti. Uttamaha upayaha asti and shubha yatra astu. So, shubha yatra is again in the first one and astu is the imperative. Okay, astu dhanyavadaha. Uttamam. So, I think this kind of an analysis is helpful because now as you construct uh, your sentences gradually, you will have to start paying more attention about the connections of the words with each other and get the vibhaktis correct. Tari eshaha bahu upayogaya bhavati karanam idanim vibhakti sahitam vibhakti nam paraspara sammandhaha kaha punha vakye kasya vibhakti he prayogaha avashyakaha Iti vicharaha avashakaha asti. So let's do some abhyasa to get some more practice about the application and uh, by doing a revision as well as an application of the different cases for the feminine words. So we have the first case which is ka and ka very specifically indicating the singular for the feminine question. So ka kim karoti, what does she do? Answer. So sa or esha. Lekhika, can you guess? Likhati, Uttamam. So now we already are familiar in our, from our previous lesson with the relationship of the root verb with the nouns that are formed by using those root verbs. So let's uh, go down this list and see if you can by yourselves also try to preempt what might be the corresponding word, uh, verb. So, sa lekhika, likhati, sansthapika, Sansthapayati, Uttamam. So, Sansthapika is a founder, Stha meaning establish and Sansthapika, one who establishes well, so founder. Sansthapika, Sansthapayati. Poojika, you might have heard of Pooja, the worship, so Poojika, Poojayati. Anveshika, Anveshayati, Uttamam. Anveshika comes from Anveshanam which is to search or do research. So, an Anveshika is a researcher. Now, let us look at words ending with the long E. So, Kalakari. Uh, we have looked at this uh, earlier in the lesson which was Chitrakaraha, knowing that Karaha is a suffix to indicate one who does. So, Kalakari is the feminine. Kalakari, Kalam. Karoti would have been the natural verb there, but I have tried to give you alternative ways of expressing the same thing. So, darshayati, pashyati is to see, darshayati is a niche to show, it is the causative and of that it becomes uh, pradarshayati means to display. So, the word for exhibition for example is pradarshani. So, kalakari kalam pradarshayati. Yogini Yoge Asti. Now, this is very important. Uh, the word Yogi means, does not mean one who is on the way practicing. No, the word Yogi means one who is established in yoga, one who possesses yoga, meaning complete alignment of the self. So, only if that alignment is there can one really call somebody a Yogi. Otherwise, one is actually a sadhaka or a practitioner. So, yogi becomes yogini and that is because the root word of yogi is yogin. Okay? But these are things that we will look at later on. For now, it is sufficient to know that yogini is the feminine of yogi. So, yogini, yoge, asti. Next, nati. Nati is an actor, an actress or an actor. Uh, natanam is to act, to dance, uh, it is combination there. Karoti. Janani is one who gives birth, janma. So, janma dadati. Abhinetri, 
is comes from the word abhinaya which means to act and again that one who transports us through the acting so abhinetri abhinayam karoti nartaki dancer nrityati devi varan dadati varam is uh, vara is a boon so varan is boons dadati astu so let's move on to the next one which is the second a uh, case of the accusative and here we have kam milati object of the meeting okay so kam milati and who's the subject of milati here it can be sahasa or bhavan or bhavati ha huh? so either of them so kam milati tam lekhi kam milati here the the ones in uh, green are all the plural corresponding to their associated pronouns but for now we'll just stick to the singular here so kam milati tam lekhi kam milati tam pachikam cook so pachika pachikam naika naikam kam naikam tam naikam nartaki nartakim so only the m gets added on to the uh, source word so nartaki nartakim milati chitrakari chitrakari milati uh, abhinetri abhinetrim milati uttamam so tam abhinetrim milati now bhojana kutra gachati so we know also the destination takes the accusative so let's see what happens here kutra gachati tam or etam let's use etam for a change etam bhojana shalam gachati uh, काम गच्छति एताम पाठशालाम गच्छति गार्डन वाटिका सो एताम वाटिकाम गच्छति नदी नदीम गच्छति काम नदीम एताम नदीम गच्छति पूर पुरी मींस अ टाउन सो पुरीम गच्छति एंड पांडिचेरी इज अ नेम ऑफ अ प्लेस इन फैक्ट इट्स अ वेरी ब्यूटीफुल लिटिल टाउन इन द साउथ ऑफ इंडिया सो एताम पौंडीचेरीम गच्छति और ताम पौंडीचेरीम गच्छति सो जस्ट अ लिटिल प्रैक्टिस इफ आई टोल्ड यू लेखिका लेखिकाम चित्रकारी चित्रकारीम वाटिका वाटिकाम पुरी पुरीम उत्तमम सो लेट्स लुक एट द थर्ड केस और द इंस्ट्रूमेंटल और द तृतीय विभक्ति सो हियर इट इज द जेनेरिक क्वेश्चन इज कथम हाउ एंड द मोस्ट स्पेसिफिक वन रिलेटेड टू दिस विभक्ति फॉर दिस जेंडर इज kaya so ka becomes kaya ha huh? so the a drops and the ya adds on and that's how the words ending with the a will specially form so let's see what happens here so ka gachati uh, or kaya gachati and taya dvichakri ka becomes dvichakri kaya gachati kaya gachati taya daivajnya becomes daivajnya so it ends with the daivajnya which can very deceptively uh, be mistaken to be already the instrumental case but no the word itself is daivajnya the knower of the fortune a lady and that in the third case becomes daivajnya so even phonetically you have to pay a lot of attention and be very concentrated there so um, kaya gachati taya daivajnya gachati shraddha shraddhaya gachati means goes very carefully kalakarya kalakari becomes kalakarya uttamam so kaya gachati taya or etaya kalakarya gachati putri putriya gachati jahnavi is the ganga jahnavya gachati uttamam let's move on to the next case which is the fourth one and in this one we have the generic question is kimartham and the most specific one is kasyai so here we have kasyai dasyati to whom will you give and it will be tasyai so anatha shala is the word it will become anatha shala yai so the whole word you add the yai to it anatha shala yai dasyati sampadika sampadika yai dasyati kasyai tasyai sampadika yai dasyati jeshtha 
ज्येष्ठाय दास्यति एंड देन लोहकारी इज वन हु इज एन आयरन मेकअप बट द लेडी देयर सो लोहकारी विल बिकम लोहकार्य दास्यति युवती युवत्यै दास्यति कस्य युवत्यै दास्यति एतस्य युवत्यै दास्यति उत्तमम भवती भवत्यै दास्यति All right. So I thought I'll just give you one or two words here, one one or two for the third and one or two for the fourth, so that you can hear the difference here. So let's say I go with uh, I go with the daughter. How would you say that? I go with this daughter. So I aham this daughter etaya putriya go. Gachami uttamam. One with the next one, both uh, for the fourth case. So um, I give my book to the uh, to the editor. So the word for editor here is sampadika. I give aham or I will give aham dasyami to the editor. Aham sampadika yai. Dasyami, kim dasyami, mama pustakam, uttamam. So let's move on to the next one, which is kutaha, and we see that kutaha is the generic question. More specific one is kasyaha. So kasyaha agatavan or agatavati. From where did you come, or uh, masculine or feminine there? Tasyaha, vaidya shala is a doctor's place, which is the hospital. Tasyaha vaidya shala yaha. आगतवान, आग्रा, तस्याह आग्रा, याह आगतवान, यात्रा, तस्याह यात्रा, याह आगतवान, नगरी, तस्याह नगर, याह आगतवान. Let's do with ए तस्याह this time. So Delhi, ए तस्याह दिल्लीयाह आगतवान. And Italy, ए तस्याह इटलीयाह Agatavan or Agatavati. Uttamam. Let's move on to the next one. And what we observe here is that the the word formation is exactly the same. So the fifth and the sixth cases have the same word there. So kasyaha asti. So vaidya shala yaha asti. So etasyaha vaidya shala yaha asti. Of whom? So kasya aushadham asti. Whose medicine or kasyaha aushadham? Asti, whose medicine is this? Etasyaha vaidyashala yaha aushadham asti. But I have not filled it in there so that you can then fill it up as you are learning the language and practicing with it with different kinds of words there. So I have kept it, I have only kept the skeleton here. And what I'd like you to do is to like try and build the story around it. So if you have etasyaha vaidyashala yaha asti, it is of this hospital. Then in your mind, think of what all could be related to the hospital. Ask a question and answer accordingly. Let's go. Agraya. So, Agrayaha asti. Agrayaha kim prasiddham. Famous asti. Agrayaha. Taj Mahal is of course there. Pitha. Pitha is a sweet which is very famous in Agra. So, Agrayaha pitha asti. Uttamam. Yatra. Yatrayaha asti. Nagari. नगर यहाँ अस्ति दिल्ली दिल्ली यहाँ अस्ति इटली इटली यहाँ अस्ति उत्तमम सो दिस आई थिंक यू आर मोर लेस फैमिलियर विद इट बिकॉज़ वी हैव डन क्वाइट अ लॉट ऑफ प्रैक्टिस अराउंड दैट बट अगेन ट्राई एंड मेक सम वर्ड्स फॉर योरसेल्फ सम सेंटेंस एंड सी इफ यू कैन ट्रांसलेट देम एस वेल Let's move on to the next one and this is the seventh case or the locative and here the question is कुत्र the being one of the generic questions and कस्याम more specifically to the related to the uh, word in the feminine here, the pronoun in the feminine. So, kasyam bhavishyati, where will it be? Tasyam sabhai, sabha, sabha, yam. So, tasyam sabha, yam bhavishyati. Kutra bhavishyati, tasyam petika, yam bhavishyati. Kolkata, kolkata, yam bhavishyati. Kupi becomes kupyam. Uttamam. So we'll do it with etasyam. So kasyam bhavishyati, etasyam kupyam bhavishyati. Yogini, 
योगिन्याम भविष्यति वाराणसी वाराणस्याम भविष्यति उत्तम मे बी वील जस्ट वन क्विक एक्सरसाइज ऑन दैट सो आई लाइक यू टू से द फ्लावर विल बी इन द बॉक्स the flower will be in that box so the flower pushpam will be bhavishyati in that box so that is tasyam petika petikayam uttamam so tat uh, pushpam tasyam petikayam bhavishyati uttamam so let's look at the final vocative case so here we have the word gaika and what happens to that he gaike and you can imagine addressing her after a show is completed so you would say hey gaike api sarvam kushalam then kridika uh, player so imagine after a tough match or something like that hey kridike api sarvam kushalam rakshika rakshanam karoti kim karoti rakshanam karoti so an emergency situation how would you address her in sanskrit hey rakshike atra shigram agachatu next the daughter you have something to give her to do so putri what would you say hey putri atra shigram agachatu and a young woman yuvati you want to go out with her or do some act- activity with her and you want her to hurry up so hey yuvati atra shigram agachatu so what i'd like you to uh, what i'd encourage you to do here is to really try to uh, put it in a context and that putting it in a context and applying sanskrit will make it real for you and once it is real it is a better chance of staying in your system so let's see what happens now we'll put it all together uh, we'll do a quick recap of that so we have ka kam kaya so we are going to go down vertically there all right so we're going to go down this vertically here so ka kam kaya kasyai kasyaha kasyaha kasyam uttamam what happens to sa sa tam etaya or taya tasyai tasyaha tasyaha tasyam uttamam moving on to the word with an ending with an a amba ambam ambaya ambayai ambayaha ambayaha ambayam and he ambe and finally for the feminine uh, ikara one there we have sahodari so it becomes sahodari sahodarim sahodarya sahodaryai sahodaryah sahodaryah sahodaryam he sahodari now let's look at a verse here we have namaste sharade devi kashmira puravasini Vamaham prarthaye nityam vidya danan cha dehi me So here we have namaste whom sharada is the goddess saraswati but here we say sharade because we are saluting her so it becomes the uh, evocative there so sharade devi is the normal word but devi because again it's an invocation kashmira puravasini becomes puravasi ni twam aham to you i prarthaye i worship nityam every day vidya danam so vidya as you can see here again has a combination like that but that can also be written in that manner okay vidya danam cha dehi me give me that okay so let's just say that once more namaste sharade devi kashmir puravasini twam aham prarthaye nityam vidya danan cha dehi me this is a verse that is often recited before we begin our studies uh, to invoke the blessings of the goddess of knowledge it basically is a way to open up the mind and be in a receptive frame of mind so i thought i will tell you a story because after all this is also a spoken sanskrit course tari aham ekam katham vadishyami bhavantah samyak shrunvantu ekah bhikshukah asit bhikshukah kim karoti bhikshatanam karoti sah pratidinam 
गृहम गृहम गत्वा भिक्षायाह याचनाम करोती भिक्षा याचनम इज आस्किंग फॉर फूड और बेगिंग फॉर फूड प्रतिदिनम करोती स्म मंदम मंदम तस्य किंचित धन संग्रह अभवत किम अभवत धन संग्रह ही कलेक्टेड सम मनी धनम सह एकस्मिन घटे स्थापितवान कुत्र स्थापितवान एकस्मिन घटे स्थापितवान अनंतरम सह चिंतितवान अहम काशी नगरम गमिष्यामि कुत्र गमिष्यति काशी नगरम गमिष्यामि तत्र विश्वनाथस्य दर्शनम करिष्यामि किम करिष्यति विश्वनाथस्य दर्शनम करिष्यति अनंतरम अहम गंगायाम स्नानम कृत्वा पुनः गृहम आगच्छामि किम चितंत किम चिंतितवान गंगायाम स्नानम कृत्वा पुनः गृहम आगच्छति इति चिंतितवान सह काशी नगरम गच्छति अथवा काशीम गच्छति काश्याम सह गंगातीरम गच्छति कुत्र गच्छति गंगायाह तीरम और गच्छति सह गंगायाम स्नानम कर्तुम इच्छति स्म किम कर्तुम इच्छति स्म गंगायाम स्नानम कर्तुम इच्छति स्म किंतु सह चिंतितवान अहम यद यदि स्नानार्थम गच्छामि मम घटम कोपि चोरयिष्यति किम चिंतितवान अहम यदि स्नानार्थम गच्छामि कोपि मम घटम चोरयिष्यति इति अतः अहम गंगायाह तीरे सैकते एकम शिवलिंगम करिष्यामि किम करिष्यति शिवलिंगम करिष्यति किंतु तत्पूर्वम सह सैकते खननम कृत्वा घटम स्थापयित्वा तस्य उपरि एकम शिवलिंगम कृतवान किम कृतवान सैकते खननम कृत्वा घटम स्थापयित्वा तस्य उपरि शिवलिंगम कृतवान शिवलिंगम कृत्वा निसंकोचम स्नानार्थम गतवान निसंकोचम विदाउट एनी हेजिटेशन स्नानार्थम गतवान अन्या अन्यः एकः यात्रिकः आगच्छति सह पश्यति एकः जनः स्नानं करोति गंगातीरे सैकते एकं शिवलिंगम अस्ति सह चिंतयति हो काशीनगरे एकः संप्रदायः अस्ति गंगायां स्नान पूर्वम् एकं शिवलिंगम आवश्यकम् इति अथवा एकस्य शिवलिंगस्य रचना आवश्यकी इति किम चिंतयति कः संप्रदायः गंगायां स्नानस्य पूर्वम् एकस्य शिवलिंगस्य रचना आवश्यकी अतः यात्रिकः एकं शिवलिंगं करोति स्नानार्थं गच्छति अन्यः यात्रिकः आगच्छति पश्यति जनद्वयं स्नानं करोति शिवलिंग द्वयम् अस्ति अहो काशीनगरे एकः संप्रदायः अस्ति स्नानपूर्वं शिवलिंगस्य रचना आवश्यकी इति सः अपि शिवलिंगं करोति स्नानार्थं गच्छन्ति एवं बहु जनाः आगच्छन्ति के आगच्छन्ति बहु जनाः आगच्छन्ति प्रत्येकः शिवलिंगं करोति स्नानार्थं गच्छति किम् भवति प्रत्येकः शिवलिंगं करोति स्नानार्थं गच्छति भिक्षुकः स्नानं समाप्य बहिर् आगच्छति किम् करोति स्नानं समाप्य बहिर् आगच्छति सह चिंतयति स्नानं अभवत् विश्वनाथ दर्शनम् अभवत् इदानीम् अहम् मम घटम् स्वीकृत्य गृहम् गच्छामि इति सह 
बहिर आगत्य पश्यति गंगायाह तीरे अत्र शिवलिंगम तत्र शिवलिंगम अन्यत्र शिवलिंगम सर्वत्र शिवलिंगानि संति तदा सह स्वमस्तके हस्तम दत्वा रोदनम करोति गंगा सैकत लिंगेशु नष्टम मे ताम्र भाजनम इत्युक्ते गंगायाह सैकतेशु इन द सैंड्स ऑफ द गंगा मम घटम नष्टम अथवा मम घटः नष्टः अभवत् इति बहु दुखेन सह गृहम गतवान् एषा कथा उत्तमा कथा अस्ति अंध परंपरा न्यायस्य प्रदर्शनार्थम सो दिस इज एन एक्सेलेंट स्टोरी टू डिपिक्ट द द maxim that we had seen on the following of traditions blindly astu tarhi etena etaya kathaya vayam agre pashyamah let's see what comes ahead so there is this beautiful uh, quotation by dr manmohan singh where he says that like the great civilization of india sanskrit does not belong to any particular race sect or religion it represents a culture that is not narrow and sectarian but open tolerant and all embracing the open minded seers and thinkers who spelt out the vision and philosophy in the sacred vedas and the upanishads were able to balance the opposites in their life and in philosophy it is this spirit of liberalism and tolerance embedded in sanskrit that we must inculcate in our present day life so here are some references that were used for the class punar milama so you had an opportunity to learn a few new words today and declensions so all the best for the practice shubhamastu